you win. Hello, this is Greg Benner. I'm 27 years old. I'm a Swiss American. This is my first year in Benetton. Hi, everybody. I'm Ryan Toulson, a guard from Benetton Basket, and I'm coming from America. Hi to everyone. I'm Lino Frattin, the assistant coach of Benetton Basket Treviso. Hello, B1. My name is Devin Smith, and I'm a, I'm a forward for Benetton Basket, and I'm from America. So I mean, it's, it's going to be interesting. You can't, uh, I mean, obviously, I think USA is a, a little bit fo ahead of everybody. Um, but Spain, you have Spain, France, I mean, you have so many good teams, it's hard to, to pick just one. Uh, I think the Team USA obviously fulfilled all the expectations of winning uh, every game possible. I think that all teams that have reached this part of the tournament have reached their expectations. USA, obviously, I mean, they won their group. And also, I think Argentina has been playing really well. And uh, I think Russia has surprised a lot of people because uh, the last couple of games they've been playing really well, and also Turkey. Serbia, Greece, uh, Spain, and Croatia, I think, is uh, the, the toughest bracket. I mean, you got three, uh, if not four, top-level teams in all Europe. Argentina versus Brazil, they're, they're very close to each other. Um, they, they have a lot of great players on both teams. Brazil has Verjao, and I think Argentina has Delfino. I think there are two important games at this phase. The first one between the reigning champion Spain against Greece, and the second game is Turkey, the home team, against France. Brazil, Argentina. Argentina has been on a roll and has been playing really well, but also Brazil has too in taking USA down to the wire. Um, in my opinion, I, I would have to go with, I'm going to have to stay with the easy pick and just say Kevin Durant, uh, I mean, just from what he's done. Well, obviously, if Argentina wins, I think uh, Delfino would be a great candidate. If uh, Brazil wins, I think uh, Leandro Barbosa. Also, if Lithuania, who's been playing great, I think Clazo would also be a great candidate. At this point, obviously, all the best players are on court. But I think Kevin Durant has most chances of winning the MVP award. I also think that you have to look at uh, Luis Scola from Argentina because I feel like he's been carrying his team really well and he's been absolutely unstoppable. I mean, I think uh, USA is a pretty easy pick. I think that, uh, that ratio is, is pretty good. Um, but you throw out uh, Greece and Spain, uh, Greece and, uh, excuse me, um, Serbia, I think that they're. Uh, a lot better than those odds that they're given. I, I think USA is the best team uh, athletically. I mean, they're all in the NBA. They all play great. And so the chemistry isn't maybe quite up to par as the other teams like Spain, Greece, and Turkey, who've been playing for years. B-Win gives the USA as the most probable winner. As in the second place, B-Win uh, predicts Spain and then following Turkey. I would switch these two giving Turkey may, maybe a better advantage considering the home court? Um, yes, B1 says that U.S. is the team to beat and the favorite to win the world championships. Also, a team that U.S. doesn't want to meet with in the finals is Turkey. B wins.